Prosecutors say this murder suspect shot a woman with a crossbow three times. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shamer. I'm Julie Cornell. Investigators say William Collins ambushed Linda Childers on her back patio. KETV Newswatch 7 Sean McKinnon had the only camera in the courtroom today. Sean. Detectives say William Collins told them he was camping at the Missouri River in Fort Calhoun. They say he and his German Shepherd were running out of food, so he chose the closest house to break into, Childers. William Collins. 30-year-old William Collins faces a judge Wednesday and our camera, charged with murdering Linda Childers. Her stepdaughter found the body in August. Linda Childers was on the floor in the kitchen with three pools of blood near her, blood on the cabinets, blood on the, on the door. So. Yeah, it was pretty gruesome. I don't like hearing all the details. Omaha Police Detective Ryan Hinesley says Collins confessed to the crime and talked about the moments leading up to it. He informed me that as she walked out, she began smoking a cigarette. Um, she had her back towards him, and that's when he shot her with the first crossbow. They say that was on Childers' back patio at this house. Hinesley said Childers pulled the crossbow bolt out of her own shoulder, leading Collins to pull out a knife. He described his actions as running up on her with the knife, um, stating he was going to try to paralyze her. Collins says he stabbed Childers in the back. She gets away, but he chases her inside. He knocks Miss Childers to the ground, kicks her in the head. She actually goes unconscious at that point for a brief period of time. Moments later, he says Collins asked Childers if she lived alone. At this point, he then uses the crossbow to shoot her a second and a third time. In the neck and the face, and then... Yes, he states that he wanted to put her out of her misery, and so he used the knife and stuck into her jugular. She was precious, and uh, she was real important to her family. and and to her friends, I mean, to the whole community in Fort Calhoun, and he took something away from us that we can't get back. Collins, charged with first-degree murder, will be in jail until he's back in court next month. Julie, back to you. Very disturbing. Thank you, Sean.